Hi everybody, Evie here. Um, this afternoon, quite excited, I'm going to be using my lovely mould that I purchased from Lorraine's Expressions. Um, I've done used it once and I made, you may remember, I made um, a gothic style um, set of coasters. The lovely thing about this one is that it's four coasters, but then it's got this adjoining piece that becomes um, like a puzzle and joins them together and then it becomes a complete centerpiece so you can use it as a centerpiece as a serving plate to put things on um, put a vase of flowers on and then use it for coasters so the first thing I'm going to do is I've already gone over it and look at the pieces that I've bought up already and I thought it was lovely it has been washed in warm soapy water and then um, let to dry naturally. So it's amazing how dust just continues to fall onto things, no matter how clean you think it is. Okay, now the resin I'm using today is platinum epoxy, but it is a food grade one. It's Australian, it's um, it's called 360 plus and it's one part hardener to two parts epoxy um, it's FDA approved food grade um, which is wonderful here in Australia to be approved by the FDA um, it says it's the clearest and most UV resistant epoxy resin in the world um, which is quite wonderful um, it's I've got a, a project working time of one hour and 20 minutes at 25 degrees centigrade so it says the initial cure is 12 hours with full cure in 10 days which most things are better if they're left for that amount of time anyway so it's a faster curing epoxy um, so i'm going to be experimenting with it um, because it will be great for teaching um, also it's non-toxic how about that so anyway, I'm going to, I've already got, had the resin mixed up. It mixes up beautiful and clear. You can see there how clear that is. It's gorgeous. Um, I've already mixed up what I'm using and I'm going to do something different for me, which is pinks and white <laughs> today for a change. So um, I've got glasses on, whereas because I need to see, but I would normally wear safety glasses. I have got my mask ready here, ready to pop on, but just while I'm talking so you can hear me, I haven't got it on at the moment. The nice thing is that the, it's non-toxic, so, you know, there's no fumes. It's just fabulous. Anyway, so what I've chosen today is Pink Velvet by Lares and White Satin. By Lares. I haven't used either of these ones. They're in a, they're a, a mica powders. I'll pop those out of the way now. Um, where can I put them? Oh no, I'll just, I'll just move them. I've shown you what they are. And I've also got Crystal White, which is the finest crystal, so fine that I'm going to use as well. So we'll just see how that goes. And here we are. Here's the Crystal White. So. Thank you for that, Susanna. Thank you for my lovely samples that you send me to try. I'm really grateful and really appreciate everything you do for me. Um, okay, so we're going to start off uh, with the, which one is this one? Oh my gosh. This is called the Pink Velvet. And it is like velvet. Let me bring that up for you to see. Look at that. Oh, it's just divine. So I'll just give it another little stir. And you can see how that, ooh, oh, wow. Okay. So we're going to use the pink velvet. These little pouring cups are great. Also from Lorez. They've got a little spout on. It saves me mixing up too much product. Okay, so I'm just going to pop a bit of pink in the middle here. I 
and they all run, of course, into each other. Um, and I will do pink around here. Hope everyone's having a fabulous day today. The sun is shining here in Tasmania. Gentle wind, you can hear my chimes going off. Um, I've got a lovely, lovely artistic week. Because this weekend I'm booked for Saturday and Sunday teaching resin work. We're going to be doing um, beach scenes with sand and seashells and uh, coral and really in tray formations. Really looking forward to it. I've got a, two classes so um, should be a lot of fun. All working together so um, we, we always have a lot of fun because my classes are very small. I only have four maximum at any one time. That's all I can squeeze in here with me as well and all my stuff. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. a little bit more I hope everyone's safe in the world and managing in our environment that we're learning to live with we're very lucky here in Tasmania. We've had very minimal effects of the COVID, but um, nevertheless, we still have to be very careful, the same as all of us do. I hope everyone's being patient and kind to each other. Everyone's going through a heap, so let's be nice to each other. All right, now I'm going to use my, oopsie, my white satin, which I have not used before, as I haven't used the pink velvet either. So I'm going to pop a little bit of white satin in these M spots here for the puzzle part. It will run in, of course, which I'm expecting, because I'm slightly overfilling it, so it does run in. Oops, maybe that was a little too much, I feel. how I can get that off. Oh, I'll just leave it at the moment. How's my... Where was I with the pink? Yes, do I need to put that anywhere else? Slightly thin there, isn't it? I'll just add that last little bit here because it's just a bit thin on that edge there. Just use what's left. Okay. One thing I must do before we go any further is using a, a round base something that's not going to scratch your mould it's wise to go around the edges to remove any hair bubbles so I'll just do that now because I've always been cross with myself if I forget because always there'll be one air bubble 
Although this product, the doesn't seem to be any air bubbles in it whatsoever. And it's quite exciting to be using something new. Especially non-toxic and FDA approved in Australia. That's that's really a big thing here. We're very conscious of being FDA approved in Australia. will use it but as you know resin is very expensive to waste and I don't waste anything you'll even see even my containers that I use for example yogurt container I find this size beautiful to use right now I'll just get a, a wipe just to wipe that little blob off the middle there. And that blob. I'll just try and clean up a bit as I go because I am a very clumsy person. Uh, so I'm trying to do my best. Okay. Mm. Right, the next one was the white satin that we're going to use. I might need a little, little bit more. Actually, I think I might, in with the crystal white, I might just add a touch of um, one of... Which one will I use? This one seems to match more. This one's called Midnight Pink. It's a glitter and I'm just going to add a tiny little bit. I use these lovely spoons also from Merez, which is wonderful, so I don't go overboard. So I'm just going to pop that bit in with my crystals there. And that's called, once again, Midnight Pink. Make sure I've got no glitter on my fingers, otherwise it'll spread. Just wipe that off. Right, so here we go with the the white. I'm just going to put a bit more resin in, um, resin in there. Mix that a bit further. Mix up my pink and white my white crystals with some pink glitter. I might add that now actually. I'm just going to add a little bit in the centre here.
I'm going to add the white. So I'm just placing the white in between the two. my little dog Maggie that you've met before right. I'll just save a tiny bit to pop into the center and give it a swirl that's that section completed now I've got the colors in that's looking interesting isn't it I rather like the way I swirled that centerpiece I'll bring you down in a bit to um, show you I've tried to put the, my stand up to film and um, without disturbing all my tables which I've got ready for my next class so um, thank you for your understanding. Uh, right, so the next thing I'm going to do is just top this up with some clear. And as you can see, it's just absolutely crystal clear, that resin. It's beautiful. So that's probably been mixed up about, oh, I don't know, maybe 20 minutes, half an hour. I'm just going to pour it into the middle. Top it up a bit, hopefully not overflow it. I've used um, I've used a total of I use these fabulous cups here, and that holds a quarter of a cup. So I used a quarter of the hardener and half a cup, two of the one 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 of these in hardener and two of these in the epoxy. And it seems to be the right amount, which is quite wonderful. I'm just bending my head down here to see which one might need a little bit more. This one does. Just checking our eye level. And this one does as well and that's just worked out perfect so three quarters of a cup of resin does this complete project top a little bit up here
notice it's not oh yes it is up to the edges there didn't think it was well that's looking beautiful and i can't even see one air bubble not one so that's quite amazing isn't it It's surprising how much you can get out of just tiny little bits that might be left. I like to make a tiny little, um, I make, what are those, the picks for the guitar? If I've got a little tiny bit left, a lot of people in my family are musicians, so I'm making different coloured picks for their guitar playing um, with what, anything that's left over. Just the slightest dribble <laughs> all helps. Okay, all right, I'll bring you down to show you. I'll just take my gloves off. Here we are now. See how it all starts to drag itself in? Always the colour on the outside will be dragged in towards the middle. Um, I have just put my tiny little tradey um, blowtorch on this and there was three tiny little bubbles. That's it. It's a marvellous resin. I love it. Okay, we'll come back later and see how this is progressing. I've just purchased this new mould. Um, it's a really curvaceous heart so um, I'm just going to give that a go and I'm using a different I'm using platinum of course but I'm using the ultra clear epoxy two to one um, it's also a premium epoxy but I don't need to put food in this so I'm not going to waste my um, FDA approved one I'm just using the other one and the colors I'm using is I'm using a turquoise where are we Hang on, can't see. Oh, there we are. Lorez Expressions Color Creations Paste. Turquoise Bliss. Mixed with. Tinkerbell Glitter. Fine Glitter Tinkerbell. And... rainbow glitter fine glitter I think that should look quite pretty oh, I've also used the excess there to make a little pick for a guitar I know it's overflowed but I can break that bit off so here we go the resins all mixed up just find where I am looking clear it's just got a few tiny little bubbles in the bottom at the moment but that should be fine so I've taken my iPad down from the stand so I won't be able to record me doing this so I'll show you once I've poured it in it filled it three quarters of the way so I just poured cleared in the clear in the top and then swirled it with the blunt end of a stick and see some air bubbles coming up there now so I'll just give it a bit longer I hope it stays in that a ribbon effect but I doubt very much if it will that was just pouring clear on the top and just swirling it so we'll see what happens uh, and I'll just remove the bubbles and we'll have a look later plus a few extras on the side we'll see to those in a moment Morning. <laughs> okay, I'm looking forward to demolding this. Let's see how it's gone. If it has set. Yes, yes, it's set. Look at this. I absolutely love this mold. 
That's one. And there's the back. You can see it's sort of. Oh dear. You can sort of see through like geode with those crystals and glitter in the middle. So I'll just take the rest out. It's a great mould, it's really easy to use, everything comes out perfectly. Highly, oh, look, at, look, the centrepiece is coming out all on its own already. There we are, how simple is that? And that's the back. So you see, you can have it reversible. You can either have that side or that side, whatever you like. Look how easy these come out. I'll just move this out of the way. That's wonderful, wonderful mould. There, so. So then it just slots together. Just like that. How beautiful is that? And if I can pick it all up together, I'll try. That's the back. And the front. So you can see how it can be a complete centre item. Plus individual. And they change your mind. You might like to have that side. You might decide that you would like the back. Either way. So it gives you so much choice, this mould. I, I think that's why I love it so much. I'll just leave that one there. There. And then we had the that beautiful curvaceous heart. I'm quite excited about this one as well. So oh yes, so you just ease that around the top. I'm oh, sorry about the news is on in the background here. I meant to turn it off. Like, oh gosh, that comes out beautiful. Oh wow. Look at that shape. Isn't that beautiful? And those different glitters. Oh, yes. So I've got some others here. This is the um, pick for the guitar. As you can see, it overflowed, so all I've got to do is um, just cut that bit off and file around the edge. I haven't used these before. These are little jewellery moulds. So cute. <laughs> So it actually makes the hole for the jewellery, as you can see, and just add that to your fixtures and ch the chains or some leather. Got a round one here, that one was a teardrop. This one I added in some abalone shells. Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? So once again, a reversible piece of jewellery. Look, look at that. Oh gosh, I love abalone. Okay, so that was it. Now we'll do the square one. So when it oozes over, it just comes off. Nothing adheres to the silicon moulds. This one is also a lovely abalone. 
pendant. I hold it up, you can actually see there, and you can see through it. Gorgeous. Perfect little thing to do with little bits of leftover resin that you might have instead of wasting them. Okay, I've got, a, I've got two here that float over. I'll just take that off. So this one has some of that beautiful um, glitter, the glitters. Gorgeous sparkles on that little rectangular one. As I say, we just take the excess off. This is an oval one, and this is a beautiful, beautiful abalone one. This one book. Isn't it gorgeous. Let's turn those over so you can see them. is a butterfly and it did overflow but as I said before it's so easy to just file off or trim off any excess so I will be just breaking off that all the way around you can see how easy that is to break off I'll finish it off later oh no well there we are I'm doing it now <laughs> And there's the the front. I use the darker glitter to create the eyes and the spine of the dragonfly. It also has. I don't know if you can see very well. It does also have glitter in that dragonfly, and I'll just just lightly file around the edges. Well, that's all the molds done. I just wanted to show you how that it's so easy to clean off resin off baking paper. Look at this, it just it just peels, peels off. It's so good, it saves a lot of mess and it saves going through lots of um, you know, while I tend to use um, uh, puppy puppy pads all the time but I find that just putting the baking paper down is a lot cheaper version and you can if you wipe as you're going with a with a, a wipe it actually removes it all off and you can reuse that piece of baking paper but if it sets it's easy to just pick off so um, sometimes some of my little pieces that I've found I place those in a piece of resin art as well and it just adds quite a bit of interest. It's much like using um, the skins from acrylic fluid art. Well, anyway, so there's my beautiful pieces there. Absolutely love the abalone in those pendants that I've made. And of course, this magnificent magnificent set of coasters here. I'll bring you down to show you more. Oh, nice close up. Mm. 
not one air bubble. I just got to just sand very lightly around that edge there. But just beautiful. Look, and I'll show you how easy it is just to pick up. And look, you can see there, if I hold it up to the light, that is see through. So that with that white crystal and all the striations, stunning. And there we are, there's the abalone pendants. The rainbow glitter pendants. My heart one, which I love, made from that um, turquoise paste rainbow glitter and tinkerbell glitter was in these two a little in the in the um, dragonfly don't you love his eyes and and the heart oh, i just love the shape of this it feels so beautiful and it it curves lovely. It's, it's, it's a lovely, lovely mould. So, yeah. Right, so that's, that's it for today. I hope you've really enjoyed what I've um, put up today. It's given you some inspiration and, yes. And um, I'll catch you on the next video. Please like and subscribe and share if you'd like to. And please visit my Facebook page art page which is called art and creations by yvette i'd love to uh, see you on there and um, all my classes will are written up in the events section on that page thank you for watching have a super day and make it a safe one